eight, Jody Foster. Right over here. Now, before you get to hear from Jody, we have a couple of guest speakers. Our first speaker today is an accomplished, talented, and in demand young actress. She was introduced to worldwide audiences in 2002 with her gripping performance alongside Jody in Panic Room. She later starred as Bella Swan in the hit five movie franchise. The Twilight Saga. Next up for her are the films Cafe Society, Personal Shopper, and Ang Lee's war drama Billy Lynn's Long Halftime Walk. Please welcome Kristen Stewart to the stage. Okay. Uh, so I had to write this down because I really do not want to mess this up. <laughs> Um, I watched Taxi Driver when I was far too young to watch it, and I know this because I was already saying that Jodie Foster was my favorite actress before I was cast as her daughter in a movie called Panic Room when I was 10. Uh, <laughs> and te technically she was cast as my mom, which at 10 I thought just made perfect sense. I was like, me and Jodie, done. Uh, she came onto the movie late, and I was totally there to show her the ropes. Um, she was my first adult friend that was mine. And I have to wonder about the Foster effect. And I do every time a journalist asks me what it was like to spend eight months um, <clears throat> in extreme exposure to her at such an impressionable time. And of all the examples I could have had, of, sorry, I'm like breathing heavily. <clears throat> um, of all the examples I could have had of an actress and a female artist and, uh, you know, like a figurehead of a production, I had her. And there's nothing self-serving about her. She cares about people. She is quite the opposite of the type of person that uh, is gravitated towards being an actress. And uh, <laughs> we identified that in each other immediately. Um, it's why I was drawn to her before I met her. And trust me, she's way cooler than me. I'm just saying it feels really good to locate and then actually get to derive this energy out of the people that you look up to, your people, the ones that you find in life outside your family that feed you somehow in this affirming and really motivating way. Uh, she's a baller on every level. It's out of control. She did everything young. She kicked Yale's ass. She won Oscars. She became a filmmaker herself. Uh, she created a family and still is just normal and cool and kind. Uh, she got a mariachi band to play at my 11th birthday party, which I thought was very, very nice. Um, she's always encompassed what I thought was sort of the prime example of where you want to be. And she's been there for me. And I haven't seen her in a minute, so I have to thank you for that. Um, and the fact that I could be here for you today is moving beyond a level you probably understand. Um, and she should have had a star on the Walk of Fame when she was 10. Um, so thank you for letting me be here. Yeah.